All right, I'm not going to lie, dudes. I'm a little apprehensive here. Let's see, I better... All right, I lied. I'm going to put Flygon out front and then Wall Rain. Uh, I'm not sure if this save thing is really going to work because I haven't actually tested it out since I used it, you know, so many months ago. I mean, I only had to use it once, and that was to get myself um, past the Elite Four and two Battle Tower, so I'm not sure if this is really going to work, but, you know... We'll find out, won't we? I don't really want to lose all the hard work I did, but, you know, if I do, I could just use the hard work from all my other games. Yeah, you think dropping my speed is going to make my Flygon slower than your Shellgun? I think not. I know he had to be restrained by the League. There's no way that, um, on his own will, he just uh, sent out a Shellgun at me. Because Salamence is so much better. Okay, so this Earthquake, this does a lot more damage to me than it normally would because Walrein's Lonely Nature lowers his defense a whole bunch. Alright, here comes his Salamence. Uh, I'm not going to risk anything here. Actually, you know, yes I will. And I'm not really risking the slacking at all. I should have healed before I fought this dude. It's because I want to hurry up and get done with this part. But I'm going to summon Rayquaza. Yeah, you thought you could crunch me to death, didn't ya? Here comes Outrage. Alright. Um, so it's about to use Altaria. I wonder, could Walrein live through any of Altaria's assaults? If Altaria was to come at Walrein right now, let's just see. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, wow! He lived through look, two hit points! Ha ha ha! He lived through his also, but that's okay. Yeah, I knew you were going to use that full restore. That's why I did this. All right, Aurora Beam. And your attack fell. Okay, well, in that case, uh, Hyper Potion on Wall Rain and completely restore him. Don't like it when other people use restore items, do you, huh, Drake? Oh, no, I'm paralyzed. Because I was so relying on Wall Rain's speed there. Okay, so Altaria's dead. And uh, we just got one more to go. It's this Kingdra. Now before, Salamence was the head guy of his party, and normally he'd have two Flygons, but this time he has a Kingdra. And uh, again, I'm going to send out Slacking, because this Kingdra provides... Let's see, it provides, I think, attack power, if I remember correctly. Attack effort values. And that's the, that's the reason I also just sent out Flygon there. Because uh, I want uh, Flygon to gain some attack effort values. I've got so many healing items on me that uh, it's okay that Flygon got injured. I'll just heal him straight up again. Besides, I'm pretty much at the end of the game. Look at that. Rayquaza like, got a really crappy level up, like all twos and threes, because he's been so good before. And once again, I forgot to use the amulet coin. You know, guys, if you want to make money fast, then use the amulet coin in every one of these Elite Four battles. They give you a ton of money, so you get to double that. So if nothing else, don't follow my stupid example. Make absolute certain that you use the Amulet Coin, uh, who is Sceptile, at least once in every battle, especially against the champion, because he gives you double what everybody else gives him. You know, if I were smart, which I'm not, I probably should have given Rayquaza the Amulet Coin, since he's uh, appeared in every single battle thus far, but... You know, if I were smart. Alright, so Walrein, uh, I'll make him healthy. Sceptile, um... See, I got one Lemonade left, I'll just use up the last Lemonade on Sceptile. Why not? If I'm going to be using him, then I might as well have him at full health. Alright, so let's see, I'll switch Flag on with Sceptile, and I'll be coming in at him uh, first and hard with the starter here. Okay, so is anybody hold? No, alright, experience share. Let's see, Walrein will be given the experience share to hold. Why not? If you're playing this in real life, make sure that whenever you go through the Elite Four, have one Pokemon that you're trying to get to level 50 holding the experience share at all times. Like, that's basically the quickest way to level in preparation for the level 50 tournaments. Oh, by the way, as you can see, it's Wallace and his little Donald Duck hat as the champion this time, whereas before it was Steven. Now, um... Let's see. At the end of the battle, I gotta remember to, uh, once again, save the game, just in case it doesn't work out. 
All right, now who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon and Hoenn? So it's become a dance contest. Not kidding. All right, so now he's got uh, his little cloak here. Yeah, champions like their cloaks and stuff. Duster cloak, um, the dragon trainer cape, that sort of stuff. Oh, this might actually kill me. Ha, <laughs> it killed me. Well, that's okay, because Sceptile was holding the amulet coin, and he appeared in battle, so he served his purpose. All right, here comes Gargivire. Thunderbolt! Man, this move has come in so much handy. I'm so glad I have it. Okay, see, Wall Ring grew a little bit. All right, Tentacruel. The thing with that Pokemon is he increases special defense, and I could use Gargivire Psychic on him, and it would be super effective, and he'd get a same type attack bonus. But... Oh, darn it! Okay, maybe I will try it with Gargivire now, because... Slacking was supposed to take advantage of Tentacruel's sucky defense, but it didn't work out that way. So let's see if Psychic can take it down with one hit. Ha, huh, nope. Gargivire dies immediately. See, because of my policy of not to take on the Elite Four with Pokemon uh, level 50 or over, because of that, I always have a uh, kind of weak Pokemon in my party. And if I'm going against... Uh, creatures like that melodic. Let's see. I could be in real deep doo doo because this melodic. Oh, sweet. I got a critical hit. That probably shouldn't have happened. I think melodic is the only Pokemon he had that might have been able to live through Rayquaza's outrage. Now I'm going to switch out because if I don't, then um, yeah, Rayquaza is probably going to get confused due to fatigue. You know it's coming. Alright, Slacking right now is just serving as a uh, a decoy Pokemon. I'm actually going to have to use up a Revive here and heal up Gargivire so I can get Thunderbolt back. That's really all that did? Okay. And just for the heck of it, if I happen to need Sceptile again, I just revived him too. So Slacking goes down, which I don't care about because he doesn't have any more Hyper Beams, so he's become useless. He'll be useful again in double battles. If you've got Pokemon that know Skill Swap. And he, he won't be for Hyper Beam either. I mean, he'll be genuinely useful. But, um, let's see, against Ludicolo, he's really only weak against Flying Types and Bug Types. So, I'm going to keep Gardevoir in here just to gain enough experience to bump up to level 47. But, Rayquaza goes out first. Okay, let's see, Outrage. Okay, let's try this one more time. Yeah, don't let him get too far with those double teams there, because otherwise he'll be very annoying and hard to hit. One of the very few things that can take Rayquaza down is being able to either blind him or keep on dodging him and then using, like, Toxic on him or um, an exceptionally powerful Ice-type move, and that will do it. But uh, in this case, I won without much of a struggle. Oh my gosh, his Whiskash lived through that! And he used a full restore. All right. And because he used um, that, let's see, what do you call it? When he put the little question mark over his head. Ah, oh, whatever. Back out Rayquaza, Sceptile, got to put him out. And Sceptile serves as a decoy so that Rayquaza can finish him up. Yeah, you think your little amnesia is going to save you, but I learned Hyper Beam at level 75, so you're dead. All right, Walrein leveled up. All right, I, the champion, fall in defeats. You are elegant and furiously so, and it was utterly glorious. You are a truly noble Pokemon trainer, and I've only got one minute left. So look at all, all that money I got that time. So what I'm going to do, before I forget, I made those changes that I talked to you about in the previous part. So let's save one more time in stage three. And we'll see what happens. Okay, at times they dance like spring breeze, struck like lightning, blah, blah, blah. Look, if you've played this game before, you know everything he says. The only part you probably haven't seen is Professor Birch talking about my Pokedex. Now listen to what he has to say. Hmm, so you've seen 147 and caught 33. Well, I could use more quantity, but this is starting to look like a Pokedex now. <laughs> okay, so, um... I got like all of 10 seconds left to finish this game off, so you know how it goes. Like, my Pokemon get introduced to the league, and um, whatever. When we catch up next time, I'll get to the Battle Tower. But thanks for watching.
This has been part what, 48 of my Let's Play of Emerald. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.